Hi everyone, welcome to Harmony Stitches. I'm Harmony and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about my crafts, which is mostly cross stitch, um, quite a bit of knitting and some crochet, which is kind of funny because crochet used to be my go-to um, craft, but it's no longer, it's kind of been put to the wayside. So um, I, I just first want to uh, throw out there, a uh, thank you so much for um, coming and hanging out with me for a little a little bit today um whether you're new or returning i so appreciate the time that you are taking out of your schedule and your activities um to come visit me and to see what i have to say about my crafts so thank you so much for the likes subscribes and comments it it warms my heart to know that people are watching my videos and taking time also to then comment and say such kind words to me um, about everything that you see so with that Let's go ahead and get started. Um, this time I'm gonna talk about the knit-a-thon first um, because I'm super excited. Um, I am filming a day early. Today is April 10th. Um, I normally film on Sundays, but today is Saturday because tomorrow is the knit-a-thon and I will be knitting all day long. Um, last week, well, let, let me back up. Oops, sorry about that. Um, while right before um I just got done eating dinner and before dinner I saw that the Nithon fundraising total was up to two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Um so I'm so super excited about that. We have over six hundred knitters participating. Um it's so awesome. I'm so grateful that I found this so that way I could help out even even in a, a small way. Um for anybody that donates to the Knit-a-thon, um, $25 or more using my campaign link, which I have below in the description box, we'll get into a drawing for a set of dishcloths. And last week I said, and maybe a scrubby. Well, I didn't want to leave you hanging, so I knit one. I didn't leave the ends in yet, but I knit one. And then I said, well, I have a little bit more time. I have a little bit more scrubby, so I knit a second one. So whoever wins the drawing will get four dishcloths and two scrubby dishcloths. And I still have a little bit left over, so I don't know what we'll do with that. So for anyone that hasn't watched my previous videos, the Knit-a-thon is officially called Knit for Food Knit-a-thon. It was organized by Laura Nelkin, a knitwear designer. Um, her designs are really cool, by the way. You should go look her up on Ravelry or on Instagram. She uses beads in so many of her designs. It's really cool. Um, the the proceeds from the knit -a which 100% of your donations will go toward the organizations. There are four of them. Um, Feeding America, World Central Kitchen, No Kid Left Hungry, and Meals on Wheels. All of those are really great organizations that help those that are facing hunger and food insecurity. So you can see my previous videos or you can click on any of the links below um, for those organizations to learn more about what each one of them does. So just as a reminder, the dishcloths will be made out of, oops, let's turn it around. Um, these two fabulous yarns that match the scrubbies. So I'm, I'm so excited that I was able to get you two scrubbies out of that. So um Yay, that makes me happy. Um, and just, I what I did for the knitting, um, it was Red Heart Scrubby Cotton is what I used. I looked at the back to find the recommended needle size and that's what I used. Um, I got these ones as a gift from Darn Good Yarn and they are a US 8 or a 5 millimeter. And as you can see, they've gotten some love. So that's what I'm using for those, and that's probably, let's see. Yep, that's what I'll be using for the regular dishcloths, too, out of the regular kind. Okay, so on to whips this week. So cross-stitch-wise, um, I had my last whip from the wheel spin, and that was Starry Night by the Prairie Schooler, and... Remember I had the angel and the wise man to do. And I had backstitching and gold chronic. 
Well, my first spool of gold krynic ran out. I had purchased some more and I took it, you know, I took it out of the, the package and right away I noticed this is not the same. Um, I bought the wrong one. I bought blending filament instead of the braided cord. But I did make some progress, even though it was not as much as I wanted. I do the crinic before I do the back stitching, just in case something weird happens, my back stitching doesn't get messed up. So I did start on the wise men, and I got um, all of the camel done with the cross stitch part. I got whatever that is done, and half of the headdress. There's also a lot of back stitching with the Krynik and I think what I'm gonna do is use the blending filament for that because it'll be a lot easier and since I bought it. The poor angel is still a shadow. Um, I, I did go to my local needle workshop and they were all out. So I will find it eventually, I will get it, I will finish these two, I'm not worried but it is what it is. Okay, so that was number one, not much progress but some. I was on a roll too, guys. I was on a roll and then I got uh, foiled by incorrect purchase. And then we did a wheel spin for my new start and that was George Decorates for Martha. And I told you I, I was excited that I, get, I always start in the bottom right corner and I was excited to start her skirt. I did not have but three colors, three colors. So I did not start with her skirt, but I started with the border. And when I went to my needle workshop yesterday, I bought some colors. So tonight, before dinner, I started the skirt. But there's more to talk about. I'm just folding this up so we can see. Um, I started with the border and the house. Um, you can tell a little bit on camera, but the inside of the windows is actually a different color. I didn't like that because you could hardly see it. So when I was at my needle workshop, I um, asked Colette, the owner, what she thought. We discussed it, we looked at the color card, and we decided to try DMC 3865, which is the off-white. So I'm going to rip those out, those windows. Um, believe it or not, I actually have four in there right now. And um, I will rip those out and put in the 3865 the next time that this comes up. But look at her dress. I don't know if you can see the variegation in that. That is clockwork. The pattern actually says clockwork orange, but when um, I bought it, it just said clockwork, so I don't know if they changed their name. This is 28 count Monaco that I coffee and tea dyed myself. This is actually the light side. Whenever you dye something, you usually get a light side and a dark side. I wanted to use the dark side, so this is what it looks like. This is the light side, but I wanted to make sure that my color showed up, so I'm using that. So not too bad of progress on this since it was a brand new start and I had a lot of other projects going on. I, I did the, the Scrubbies and I did Starry Night for a little bit and Pandemic, which is coming up. So these three are, these three are the ones that I had, DMC, 3371, DMC 644, which is the color of the windows, and then DMC 822. And as you can see, one's cream and one's gray or beige, but when you stitch them next to each other, they're looking like the same color. And then this one, DMC 930, actually is a called for um, the, the DMC equivalent in the chart. This is called for um, and I had it in Starry Night. Well, I'm all done with the blue, so I pulled it out and put it here. And then these are the ones that I purchased. Well, besides Pumpkin Harvest here, I had already. I purchased that last time. But then I bought Roasted Figs, Carolina Cecil, Carrot, Sanguine, don't know if I pronounced that right, and Clockwork Orange. And you can see, you might be able to see the variegation in that. The Carrot carrot has some really good variegation in it but you might not be able to see with this light it is in the evening it's past 6 30 so i did have to turn on my overhead light 
Okay, last whip for cross stitch is pandemic. Um, last time I told you that I had to put in eight strands a day in order to have the possibility of getting this done by the end of the year, um, which it, or or 1.8 pages each month. Um, I am on a roll. I'm on a roll. I am actually the, I'm filming on Saturday because the knitathon is on Sunday. I actually stitched Sunday's threads today, well, throughout the week, but I finished today. So even though I'm not stitching tomorrow, I am caught up. I cannot believe how much progress eight strands a day provides. And I, what I do is DMC um, skeins, I cut an eight, eight equal sections, and then I do the, the loop method, that's how I do mine. So this is hard to show. I should have taken it off the frame, but I got all of this done. So see this right here? Just to the left of that is the page break. And so I got all of that done. And that is some heavy, dense stitching. It's about two thirds of the page. And then on this side, the remaining third is, um, very, uh, very light stitching. It's not as dense as the other two thirds were. Um, and I'm going to post a, or insert a picture of where it was last time so you can kind of compare. So you may have seen that already. I might have put it at the beginning of, of that. So that's really exciting. Um, since we're only technically 11, 10 days today, but then tomorrow is 11 days in, I've put in 88 strands of floss um, into the project this month, um, which is almost two skeins worth. And I feel that with what I put in last week and put in this week, I'm really approaching um, one whole page already. And I think by the end of the month, since we have, what, two, uh, 19 more days, I really will get that one, one and point eight or, you know, one and three quarter pages done. So I'm super excited about that. Hold please, this fell over. Um, okay, my last whip that I worked on was my car knitting, uh, which was the poncho. I worked on it today, my husband and I went to Saginaw, so I was able to get some, ah, everything's falling all over. I was able to get some knitting in, and again, I'm using Lion Brand Textures in the Mountain Dawn colorway. It's really pretty. It's blues and purples and some orange. So, I, whoops, I almost lost a stitch. Um, here we go. It, it's hard to show because it's so long, but just in the car today, going to Saginaw and back, I put in from this stitch marker all the way up. So, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, about 14 to 15 rows. So I have to measure this to see how far we're going or how far I got. And this is the last of this ball. I have two more to go. So some progress on that. All right. And now we're on to purchases. Um, my husband came into some money and he gave me some for my spending. So that was wonderful of him. So I got a couple of things. Well, the first three things weren't out of that money, but they didn't come out of my spending either. They just were purchased by the household. So I bought this little cutting board and I can either finish something on the back side or finish something on the front on this square. As you can, it's $3 at Dollar General. I thought that was a steal and it's not, I mean, it's, inexpensive but at the same time it feels pretty solid this is all these three pieces are from Dollar General I actually saw this one but then my husband and I went back to look for something else and he noticed it and suggested it so it's like chicken wire on these little frames and then you can hang two from there so that's pretty cool I don't know what I'll use it for yet but this one was 350 so I'll take it for 350 
And I, when I was talking to my daughter about um, picking these pieces up, I said, you know, for $3.50 or $3, I'm not really concerned if they fall apart because it's a lot better than going to one of the big box stores and paying $20, $30 for something, you know, so I can, again, spread my money around a little bit. So since I'm redecorating the kitchen in bees, I found this box and I decided to get it. And it says, welcome to our hive. But then on this side, it says the best place to be. And it's a box, the lid comes off, you know. So I can, I don't know if I'll put a cross stitch on it and cover up the pattern, or if I'll just set it on the shelf that we have. I'm not really sure yet, but I thought it was really cute and it kind of goes with the color scheme and the theme of it. Um, last week I told you that I wanted to get Beehives Matter and the Small Liberty piece done from Liberty uh, Chalkful. I went to finish them and I didn't have any supplies. So I was really bummed out because I had it on my to-do list for today. And I came up here and I was digging through things and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have anything. So I, when I was out today with my husband, I bought this fat quarter bundle. And this is a really pale gray and then um, this is almost like a khaki and a medium gray. And I think this will go well with the Beehives Matter on the piece that I have for it. Um, I did buy another skein of 822 because I think I'm going to need that for George Decorates for Martha. I bought a fat quarter of red for the Liberty Chalkfuls. And then I don't use batting behind my pieces. I use felt. Why? Because it's cheap. And then I found it on sale at Joann's. So I bought some cream, white, and black. I figured this cream would go well with the Beehives Matter um, instead of uh, the bright white, obviously you're not going to use black. So those were my purchases for the week. I think that's it. I'm just looking around. I think I got everything. Um, the next thing to do is do, um, the wheel spins for the week. So now we have two. We have a whip and a new start. And then I will obviously continue on with pandemic starting back on Monday since I'm taking tomorrow off to do the knit -a um, and then my car knitting, anytime that I go somewhere with my husband, since he drives, then I will work on that too until that project is finished. And then I will swap it out for a uh, different car knitting. So I did not bring my whips up here because you've seen them before. You can always look back in the um, previous videos. My very first video has almost all my whips and then I found some and showed them in video number two. So if you want to see everything that I've been working on, go back and watch that. So we will spin. There's not as many on here as there was the first time. And it's going to glare because of the overhead light. Um, this is probably the best. And then I got to get it to spin, don't I? There we go. Words to live by. That's words to live by. Um, by the Tiny Modernist and last time I got almost a complete block done so I should be able to get another block done this time so that's pretty exciting words to live by um, and then we have the wheel spin for the new start um, we'll see and then I have my binder here and I'm gonna pause pull it out and then show, so I can show you so see there's quite a few on there let's see this is for a new start this week. Heart of America. Okay, one moment. Okay, Heart of America is by Little House Needleworks. And it has these cute little panels. You know what? I can't start this. I don't have this kit up yet. I didn't buy the threads. No, I don't have the threads. New spin. <laughs> I should have only put the ones on there that I had kitted up. I don't know what I did. So let's let's try it again, see what it comes up with. B study. I have that one kit up. So let me pull that out. It's right here. Okay, I this is one of the patterns that I've had the longest 
Oops, sorry for shaking you. This one is by Kathy Barrick. It's the only one I have by Kathy Barrick, but all of hers are so beautiful. So this is what the model stitch looks like. And like I said, I do have this kit up. I'm doing the DMC conversion because she um, did the model stitch in NPI. And I just, I can't do MPI. Like we talked about before, it's my, you know, my budget. So that's kind of nice because then I'm going to have all of these B pieces done and ready for the kitchen. So I just have to get supplies to finish them. All right. I think that's it for this week. Again, I want to thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for a little while. Thank you so much for supporting the Knitathon by either praying for the Knitathon, um, donating to the Knitathon, or just cheering me on during. Um, I will not be live streaming. Some people will be, but I just don't have the um, technical capabilities to do that right now. But I will show my progress and draw the winner on the very next um, video next Sunday, which would be the 18th, right? April 18th. So until then, have a great week and happy crafting. I'll see you later. Bye.